I'm actually not that much of a morning person. Sorry, my hair looks crazy, but I recently got back from Florida. I actually spent like three weeks on the East Coast. I am taking advantage of being used to waking up on East Coast time. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm taking advantage of it while it is still here. It's such a nice crisp morning. So excited to go to the water, see if there's any surfers. Sorry if you've got the same shot of like the waves for two minutes in a row. They were just actually crazy because of all the storms that have been happening. The waves have been absolutely insane. I've never seen them this large. But yeah, welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna head back home now and get started with my day. My hair is crazy, I'm sorry. I try to make a heart for my latte art. It looked more of like a anatomical heart rather than just a cute heart. So I put some cinnamon on top to cover it up. So good. And I made this cute little mug. But yeah, good morning. I actually went and got ready and did my hair as well. I actually got a haircut when I was in Florida. I don't think you can probably tell as much because it's still long. <laughs> But it doesn't have much layers at the bottom anymore. It just looks more full. And then I got not curtain bangs, just like some face framing little pieces right here. These are like the shortest I've ever gone. Usually they go like underneath my chin, but I had her go a little higher. So I think will look cute when I do like half up, half downs and different hairstyles, maybe. I always have big plans to do like fun hairstyles and stuff, but I just have like no patience and usually like get really annoyed at my baby hairs. It all comes falling apart. We'll see though. But yeah, just gonna get some work done today. Um, we'll see what I get up to. I have to sit down and plan out my day real quick. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marcella. I'm a software engineer and I'm currently working on my own startup. I live in LA. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also fun little apartment updates post Christmas. If you remember our Christmas tree was over there. We put my Monstera back here. This is my favorite plant of all time. She is gorgeous and she is also unfurling a few pieces look at this unfurling is that the word i think so but i'm so excited for her another one in here so many and then the other thing is we decided to put our two little pieces of couch that we keep on the floor to sit by the window uh, we decided to put them looking out at the view really want to get like a table for in between here or like something we can put coffee and stuff on we have my little poof that usually goes in the middle here but we use it as a footrest as well. So yeah, just a few little apartment updates. Everything is mostly the same. Oh, and also I did 
um, I don't know if I included it in a vlog. I must have not put that in a vlog for some reason. It's a shame because I have a bunch of footage of me kind of remaking over our bedroom. It looks so good now for a while. I hated filming in there because it didn't look pretty, but I've done some updates maybe. I'll insert that footage and if not, I'll go show you guys the bedroom a little bit later. But for now, I am gonna get to work, AKA like plan out my day, do some journaling and then start working. I forgot to mention that I'm in the middle of a digital, not digital detox, more of a dopamine detox. I'm like not on any of, the, of my socials right now. I'm not allowed to be at least. <laughs> um, I'm on day two. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing a solid job. I have had the urge to watch YouTube videos so many times and right now like my brain just compulsively went to youtube.com to put something on in the background. Uh, but the only thing that I'm allowed to be on YouTube for is those like chill music videos. So that's what I'm going to put on, listen to and yeah. Time to make some lunch. I'm gonna give my sister a call while I'm cooking. I see her if you're watching this. Are you heading home right now? What do you say? Let's see. Nice. Could be hours from going live. Chairman of that company on their personal behavior, you know? There really weren't that many people in a position who could say something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's uh, it's so tricky. It's like, even when you say that, like, you're, you're not in a position to challenge the CEO. I mean, I'm just thinking about like, women who were 19 and 20. It was so delicious and simple. I did do a little bit of meal prep on Wednesday, but I forgot to meal prep anything for lunch. I have omelets in the morning. I have bolognese pasta sauce for in the evenings, but I forgot to do anything for lunch. But luckily, Trader Joe's dumplings always come in clutch. And this is like, I don't know, a 10 minute meal. Not even, because it takes like a few minutes to boil, but literally a minute to throw together. So yum. By the way, I figured out what I was working on today. I made this little tool that lets me analyze my YouTube analytics. Um, and it's a personal one, but I think I'm going to just get it ready and just deploy it. Essentially, I just want to see a list view, an entry per video, the video title, amount of views, percentage of views are male or female, and also the geographic data. So what countries were watching that video. YouTube the analytics does not let you do that. You can click on each video and go to the audience tab and it will tell you what demographics watch that video, but you can't see like in the detailed YouTube analytics view, you can't see just like all videos. It's really weird that they don't let you do that. I made my own tool for it. I figured why not release it, kind of get like a small dub to start the year off. I need to do some stuff to make it production ready, but the bulk of the script is done. So that's what I'm working on today. I can now vlog in my bedroom. But oh, let me insert the clips of us redoing our bedroom and flashback to probably December, I think. We 
have our Philips Hughes bulbs in this lamp. So I'm gonna take them out of this lamp because it's atrocious and I'm gonna put them in our, actually I'm not sure if they'll fit because I put baby lamps in here. Oh boy, we'll see. past I've hung these with command strips but these walls kind of don't work with command strips and also we already know this building is not giving us any of our security deposit back so we're going with nails this time. These frames have been with me since 2019. Like I said we used to attach them to the wall with command strips and in order to do that I had to take off the little brackets. That was like three years ago 2019 and I was like there's no way I still have them but guess what my hoarding tendencies have come clutch because I do have them and we're still able to use these frames. I love me sometimes. His friend's here, so he got two of them done. The middle one's not yet done. Oh, just so close, so close. But I like the way that looks. So now our room looks like this. I am obsessed with it. It is so cute. And I've also made some updates to the bookshelf. Still need to work on those little shelves and yeah, we'll figure it out. But very happy with it so far. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with the rest of my night. I could go to the gym and do like a 12, 3.30 easy workout. I could work on some YouTube stuff. I can't watch YouTube videos, which would be like an ideal thing to do right now. Maybe it'd be nice to do something like go out. It's Friday night. So I was thinking maybe I could go to the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, that'd be really nice. Or maybe even just go for a walk around Santa Monica Pier, although it is Friday, so I'm sure it'll be crowded. Anyway, I don't know. We're just trying to figure out what to do. Right now, my boyfriend's making pasta because I have meal prep bolognese sauce for dinner. So we'll do that and then we'll figure it out. Today is a pretty chill day. I think I'm trying to embrace like simplicity and routine in my days. I've been really enjoying having a very consistent morning routine, a very consistent time of eating each day. I don't know, I feel like all of these little things um, have been making the chaotic parts of my life feel a lot more manageable because a lot of it is just nailed down and figured out if, for me, if that makes sense. Anyway, gonna go figure out what we're doing tonight and I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> such a dreary day. Today we're supposed to get rain. It's Saturday. I feel so sleepy even though it's like seven something now. I've been up for like an hour and a half just editing and getting this video ready and stuff. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna make an omelet for breakfast. Tempting latte art again. And yes, I am using the same mug. I am obsessed with it. I am going to the pottery studio today and I think I'm gonna make some more of these guys. Let me see if I can, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sure, let's try that. It does not work. I'm just gonna try to make a heart again. Aw, that time the heart kind of worked. 
It's 8.30 right now, so I'm just gonna be chilling here, editing, relaxing, and then at 11, I'm meeting up with my friend and I'm bringing her to the pottery studio. My pottery studio does like a guest pass for the day. She wants to come and like throw in be at the pottery studio and stuff so that'll be a lot of fun it'll be my first time bringing somebody to the pottery studio i've been meaning to do it with my boyfriend too because he did pottery classes with me way back when so he knows a little bit uh, but we just haven't gotten around to it maybe next weekend i'll go with my boyfriend but yeah it's gonna be a fun day but for now i'm just gonna chill relax bro all i want to do is watch some youtube videos <laughs> right now but my digital detox, aka I can't. So I've been listening to a lot of podcasts to kind of fill up my time. I've been listening to the Startup Podcast. I love that one. It's an older podcast. I really like season one. Alex Bloomberg, who's the host of the Startup Podcast. It's a podcast that he has made while he is starting his podcast media company, Gimlet. Like I said, this podcast is old. So I think back in 2000 something, I don't know. But recently, I think a couple years ago, Gimlet Media sold to Spotify for like $200 million or something crazy like that. He had a successful exit and it's really cool to have his like early days as he's trying to raise money, trying to find a co-founder, all these things. It's really cool. Really like start a podcast. I also am listening right now to the All In pod. That one I used to love back in like COVID days. Now it's a little meh. They've gotten a little full of themselves, but I still listen to it. Anyway, yeah, I wish I could be watching a YouTube video, but I am listening to podcasts and gonna just edit now anyway. So I'll talk to you guys when I go to the pottery studio, maybe it is starting to rain. It feels so cozy.